Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to quick start Lambda for PHP from my GitHub repository. So as you, as you can see, nothing is here, no layers, uh, no functions. I'm in AWS Lambda and I would like to create PHP function. So how to do that? Um, I have set up a GitHub repository for you guys. Uh, just navigate to that one and download the zip file. And once it's done, just unzip everything to the desktop. And let's open that one. So as you can see, here's Lambda folder. Go inside that one, layer compiler, AWS by, uh, PHP binary and vendor files. And here is two zip files. So these are compiled layers. So if you don't feel like compiling PHP or composing vendor files, uh, yeah, this video is for you. Uh, I have set up a repository where you can quick start your Lambda for PHP without compiling and, and installing the AC2 server and going through all that. So how to use it? So basically, uh, first you need to create your runtime layer that consists of PHP, as you can see. Here is binary, for, uh, binary folder with uh, compiled PHP, uh, library files, and bootstrap. So to get that going, let's go back to Lambda. And let's create a new layer. So let's call it AWS PHP Runtime. Uh, we upload the zip file. And we choose custom runtime for Amazon Linux 2 and create. In meanwhile, let me copy the other one. So this one consists of vendor files that I need. Uh, let's copy that one as a path. And let's wait to upload to finish. So first layer is here. Let's create another one in the same way. Vendor. Upload zip file, architecture, runtime, and let's create it. This one should be faster than the runtime because it's, it's smaller in size. And so now if we could go to dashboard, we see the code storage has gone up. Let's create the first function. So Oh, before we do that, uh, there's one more thing we need to do. So let me copy the ARN for the newly created layers. And we do the same for the other one. All right. Now let's go and create the function. Let's call it test. Uh, you need to provide your own bootstrap. And let's create the function. It takes a while, like 10 to 20 seconds. So let's give it some time. And now the function is created. So let's sort of get rid of all these files here. Let's delete it, this one as well. Now let's create a new folder for the source. SRC, new file that has to have the same name as the function name, test. The handler has to be same as your function name and now it's time to add those two layers. So you need to add in this order. So runtime first and then the vendor files. Let's copy the first one. You specify your own uh, ARN. ARN. A, how do you pronounce it? ARN. And now the other one. All right. So. Almost done. All 
Okay, so the handler is set. Layers are here. I have created a file for the code. So now it's ready to create your first function. All right, I save it and I deploy it. And let's test the file. Uh, function. So no parameter test for this one, no parameter sent in. Let's save it. So test event is created. Let me double see everything one more time. Uh, all right, let's run the test. So we got a response from the PHP function hello world. So that concludes our tutorial today. Thank you for watching. Uh, so sign up for my videos, sign up for my channel and yeah, I will share the repository details on the description below. Thank you so much. Have a good day.